I just got a phone call. Somebody needs my help. I shall go save them. I will go save them. Let's go. This is not very good. My yard's still a mess too. Oh my gosh, I haven't cleaned up yet. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in banana bread. So for today's block break episode, I was actually deciding whether or not to start building my skate park today or just like look through the game and try to find some hidden stuff. And uh, I think we'll do that today. I think we'll try and do maybe a skate park tomorrow or maybe on Wednesday, I have no idea. Depending, I might start my skate park tomorrow. So that'll be fun. But yeah, for today, I thought we would just go through the update a little bit more. Uh, we did get an update like two days ago. What day is it? Where am I? Okay, yeah, we got an update like two days ago. And there were some minor gameplay changes or minor changes that were listed in the notes. And some people might not even know what that is. Not really like hidden, but just like some things you may not notice right away. So I thought we would do a video that showcases all of the like minor changes or the hidden things. Uh, so that way you guys you guys are updated and you're like, oh yeah, that happened. I'm very bad at explaining stuff. I actually have not learned how to speak proper English lately. I don't know why. I think I'm dead. So let's go to build mode. So here are the update notes. Um, some things are very obvious that they have, you know, put clearly out here. Minor general changes. People might not know what kind of changes there are. So they go and find that stuff out. This one right here, change block bucks item undo behavior. Before, back then, if you were to buy a block bucks item and place it down like this, you would basically get stuck with it forever. Yeah, you bought it already. If you tried to undo it, uh, it would go straight to your inventory. But now, if you undo any block bucks item that you didn't really want, um, it will go back up. It will give you back your block bucks. So that is a really cool thing that they've added. And I think it will save a lot of people. So if you happen to be in build mode, you accidentally buy a block bucks item. Um, and you didn't want it, just undo it. Don't leave build mode, because if you leave build mode, you are basically stuck with it forever now. So I really love how they added that. I just wish we could still put stuff in our inventory. I, I, need, I need that feature. Okay, I'm not sure if this was like in this update or maybe it was the last update, but uh, what I've been told by my friend a couple times is that you can actually just stack tables on tables on tables. As long as you have a flat like table surface, believe you can put anything on it. You can put tables on tables on tables, or you can put chairs within this table as well look at that amazing so that is also a fun little thing that you can do um i think this works with every table in the game so if you wanted like the verge table you can put this table on that table and then it just stacks and stuff and i think i might try and build a house with just tables only i think i'm gonna try and make a house like this so stay tuned for a video idea on that oh my gosh i love this update it's giving me more content <laughs> You can stack chairs on the tables. I just, I love that. It might be a small thing, but honestly, I think it's a pretty big feature, especially for builders who love building hacks. This is really good for our builders. So shout out to my friend Retro for pointing that out to me. Oh yeah, also another thing, if you haven't noticed, I've already pointed this out in my update video. The trees and plants move now. They actually move, which is a little creepy, not gonna lie. Kind of reminds me of like a heartbeat, but very, very closely. The tree is moving. And this also goes with these bushes here. Look at this. Just just watch it. Look at that. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy, but it gives the game a little bit more life. More little details that make a really... Honestly, it's kind of a big difference, sort of. And yeah, this just goes with most of the plants in the game. Like, if you have a natural plant... It's moving! Yeah, the natural plant moves. You got your short grass, your tall grass moves. Look at that. Do the flowers move? I haven't noticed. Oh, the flowers move. So basically anything that could be living, it could move, right? So does this move? <laughs> I'm staring so intense at it, but I don't think the cactus move. The flowers move. I love that. Do the sunflowers move too? Do the carrots move? Carrots don't move, right? <gasps> they do. The leaves on the carrots move. I don't think the actual carrot moves. Yeah. So yeah, anything that's kind of like lively, I'm pretty sure is a good chance of it moving. And I think this only works if you have high graphics. If you have like pretty low graphics or anything like that, um, they probably won't move for you. That's nice. The trees move. Okay, that's a dead tree. Why would it move? I don't know. That's another fun little uh, hidden detail if you didn't notice already. Another thing that this update brought was more rescalable objects. Like, there's just so many more things to rescale nowadays. Like, these bookshelves, they can be rescaled. Like, you can make them way taller now. You can make them way wider. And it just... I think libraries are also going to look way nicer too with these. Because bigger bookshelves. Look at this. Also, I've always wanted smaller bookshelves in a way. So... 
yeah, if you want smaller bookshelves, here you go. So most of the pillars can be rescaled except for the stage column and the party pillar, I believe. They don't say so. I've always wanted to be able to rescale pillars. Some people might not appreciate this update as much, but I think it's pretty it's pretty good for a lot of builders and role players for sure. My friend Morgan was so happy about this, this update. Like, look at that. Like the most basic tree we had in this game. Look at it. It's huge now. It's a huge tree. Once again, also great for landscaping for builders because like you get different heights for the trees and stuff so i'm pretty sure landscaping will improve a lot because of that the stop sign like the stop sign what you could just put a stop sign basically like on the ground or something can you stack this on top here oh you can oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my god, wait, I also want to show you guys, hold on, wait, this is funny, this is also a really funny thing. Like, if you just buy a table, you can stack the vehicles on the table too. So you could have like a car dealership now, basically. Like, that's a fun idea. Like, if you build a car dealership, you can actually display the vehicles on the surfaces now, which is amazing. You can put it up here too, look at that. So, yeah, and look, stop sign. Stop. Stop reading books. This was difficult for me to explain for some reason, but if you're trying to change decals on a plot and you've already had like custom photos that you've already placed down, uh, they actually just show up now in this little um, decal pop-up screen. With this update, it actually shows what you already have on this plot. So like all my milk logos are here. My face is here. Why is that here? I don't know. Mm, interesting. Any f any custom photos you've picked for the plot, they actually show up now here in the pop-up screen. So I'm going to try and look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the other. I'm going to go check this on another plot too. All right. I'm I'm on a different plot now so if we go and check the the pop-up decal thing for this it'll show me exactly what is also on this plot so you got my giant face um i don't think i put many custom photos oh we do look at that look see it changes the photos that pop up change based on what plot you're on so like they, they do change that is an awesome detail so like i even get floats pictures here too so my friend float put some nice pictures of me and him at the zoo the first tour <gasps> wow and now I get now I get to use it. I get to find it in here and use it. Look at this. Ooh. So yeah, whoever like whoever puts the custom pictures on your plot, whatever pictures you put on your plot, it'll finally show up in the little menu decal. If that makes any sense, I hope so. But that's really cool. Someone told me this in the Twitter notifications, but the doorbells, they have noises now. They have different noises. So if we if we get all the doorbells here, so I know what this is gonna sound like. That's gonna sound so cheap. We've got this doorbell. Like there's actually, I think, I'm not sure if it's all of them, but most of them should have it. And then let's turn up the volume. Let's turn up the volume. We're gonna listen very carefully because I love a good different sound effect, you know? I, I always wanted new sound effects for stuff. So let's take a look. This is the first doorbell. It's gonna sound cheap. Not cheap, but basic. That's the most basic doorbell sound ever. Now, if we click on this one. Oh, that one's also cheap. Okay. I mean, that one didn't change. It just looks pretty. Okay, moving on to the next one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, that's... I like that. That is also really nice. It's a different one. This traditional, like, um, doorbell. Very pretty. And if we go to this one right here. That sounds basic. But how about this one? Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, that's really cool. I like that one. Okay. I like that one. It's kind of cool. What's this one? Oh, okay. Not that not so much on that one. That one's also cool. I I mean it's different. I appreciate the different sound effects. So alright, so these three are the ones that have the new doorbell sound effects. So that's really nice. N nice little detail. It makes a big difference and I like that. I love I've always wanted new doorbell sounds because obviously they're different like looking. So maybe some of them should sound different too. So yeah. I don't like this one. Eh, that was fine. So my friend Froggy, Froggy Hops, told me to think it's this is a really small thing. It's nothing game changing, nothing crazy. Uh, the new cattails that we got. Uh, Froggy told me to read the description, so I will read it. It says, "Oh, those aren't corn dogs." <laughs> What? Everyone, like, I think the first thing I notice whenever I look at cattails is, ooh, that's a corn dog. Don't eat these, by the way. Do not, if you see them in real life, do not eat them. So yeah, these cattails, they can be placed in water. They can be, yeah, they move. I think that's everything from my list. There might be some other stuff. Uh, I don't know if there's any other noticeable changes. I just know there's a lot more content, a lot more. There's a, definitely a lot more building ideas now with all these, like, new updates. Um, like, the car dealership. Like, I think that's a cool idea. I'm definitely going to be building a house now out of, like, tables. It's it's just a dumb thing, but I'm gonna do it. But I like to believe that's it for this episode. I might be missing out on some other stuff, but those are all the things that I've noticed. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's basically it for this episode. If you found this video enjoyable, helpful, dumb, interesting in some sort of way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you
hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free and you can always you know you can always unsub whenever you want so might as well subscribe for free but anyway thank you guys for taking the time already to watch this i will talk to you in the next upcoming videos stay healthy stay safe have a wonderful day peter bread signing out goodbye everybody